Hey guys, Liam here. Would you like to get the classic RPG Diablo to work on the Steam Deck? Well, I'm going to show you how easy it is to do. And this will be using the modern Devolution X game engine. Now, first of all, you do need to own a copy of Diablo, which is available on GOG.com. A link will be in the description to grab yourself a copy. What you're going to need to do is install the Heroic Games Launcher because that just makes managing games from GOG really easy. You can get it easily as a flat pack on Flathub and on the Steam Deck just grab it from the Discover Store app. With Heroic you need to sign into your GOG account and then download Diablo. Once that's done you need to head over to the Devolution X GitHub, find the releases page and download the latest app image. Once downloaded, you need to make this app image executable. You right click on it, go to properties, permissions, and put a tick in the is executable box that just enables it to actually run. And now move this app image into the folder where Diablo is installed. And that's all you have to do to get it to actually run and detect the Diablo content properly. However, we want to add it to Steam as well. So in your Steam library, go to the top menu where it says Games, add a non-Steam game. In the box that pops up, find where you installed Diablo. And at the bottom, you need to select All Files and then select the Devolution X app image that you just put in that folder and then add it. That is absolutely all that you need to do. And then you will have the Diablo RPG running through the modern Devolution X game engine and it will work in gaming mode nicely as well. On the Steam Deck, when you're back in gaming mode, you just need to hit the Steam button, go to your library, and then when you scroll along to the non-Steam section, you will see the Devolution X launcher and then it will just work out of the box. And really, there's not much fuss. It takes a bit of getting used to on the gamepad controls here, I don't really know what I'm doing with it yet because today doing this guide is the first time that I've tried to play it like this. But I will attempt to give you some very basic gameplay here just to show that it is actually working. Hopefully you found that useful or interesting. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Thanks for listening and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.